Welcome back everyone. Quest for You is on. Episode 189. Beware the stories you read or tell. Subtly, at night, beneath the waters of consciousness, they are altering your world. This quote is by Ben Ockrey. There are hidden forces within each of us that create the feelings we experience. Some of these feelings we wish we didn't have. Unhappiness, sadness, anger, disappointment, jealousy, and anxiety. Other times we feel like taking off and flying. Joy, happiness, and bliss runs through our veins. These forces are always there, sometimes stronger, sometimes weaker. The forces that cause unpleasant feelings are stronger when we are experiencing difficult circumstances and we are physically and mentally weak. And they are weaker when we are happy, when things go well and we feel on top of the world. These forces are always present. They drive our emotions, our reactions and decisions and often entire parts of our life without us noticing most of the time that they are there, deep within, hidden, but appearing very real. They are the stories we tell ourselves. We are born into a world of stories, those that took place before us, those that start when we arrive, and those that we create, we dream, and we fantasize. Imagine a storyteller. What is his goal? It's to interpret and share experiences, to entertain and to teach, and for his listeners to remember the story and pass it on. To accomplish his goal, he will improvise, embellish, and emphasize certain aspects of the story. The story comes to life as it is told. It takes on its own life as it is spoken by the narrator. And it takes on another, slightly different life as it is being heard by you. A story changes constantly. One word can change an entire story. Its meaning for you can be one, and for me, another. Stories are an integral part of our culture. In the days without media, stories informed people of events, entertained and taught lessons. Today, stories still do the same. But media allows stories to multiply more quickly and in more colorful ways. Everything you hear, read and see is a story. And once you absorb it, becomes your story different from the one you heard, because it is your interpretation of what you heard, read, or saw. It is your subjective perspective of the event. We are both a storyteller and a consumer of stories. There are stories we tell about our life, and there are stories we take in from other people's lives. We're always in the process of interpreting stories, the events that occur around us, what we read and hear from others, and what we personally experience. In the process of interpreting stories, we tell ourselves our own version of that story. They may be related to an event or experience, or they may simply something we cook up, often unconsciously in the back of our mind, as we go about our days. Stories are our life. They make life beautiful and sometimes they make life hell. Look at that beautiful ocean. The sound of the waves is soothing, the water refreshing, and the air crisp. I love the ocean. Listen to this person yelling, bossing everyone around, not really understanding what the process is and not, and not making people feel good. I don't like this person. Stories. All day long. The stories we hear are closely intertwined with the stories we tell because we take many of them on and make them our own and then they become our story. They become the story we live. So it's a threefold process. We absorb stories from others, we tell stories to others and we live stories. The stories we tell are also often not in sync with the stories we live. We say we are happy, but we feel sad inside. We think we enjoy the experience, but we wish we were someplace else. 
We want things for our life, but when the time for decision-making arrives, we choose something different. Is your head spinning by now, trying to keep up with all the different stories? I know mine is. Imagine your mind. No wonder we are so out of sync. We say one thing, but we feel something different, and then we do something completely different even. Often, we have allowed the stories that run in the background make the important decisions in our life. There's the famous story that we need money to be happy. So we make decisions all throughout life with money in mind. But despite all the money we amass, we somehow never find happiness. There's another famous story that love is all we need. So we fall in love and forget about everything else, only to wake up years later when love has left, with unrealized dreams and a broken heart. The right stories can motivate us, push us forward and bring us joy and fulfillment. The wrong stories bring sadness, depression, and a life filled with regret. People have uprooted their lives because they thought that outward changes would finally bring happiness. They changed their looks, changed their entire career, they left long-term relationships, They moved across continents, but the stories didn't change. In fact, they repeated, now in a different job, with a different partner, and in a different country. The stories we live can run our life, and we can't outrun them unless we change the story. What stories are you living at the moment? What are the relationships like in your life, your work, your free time, your financial situation? Are there stories you are telling yourself that are holding you back in some of these areas? We need to wake up, tune into the stories we are telling ourselves. Look deep within yourself and find those stories. Bring them from the background to the foreground. The great dreams and hopes you have deep insight for your life, bring them out. Look at your current circumstances. The areas where you are unhappy are telling you that something needs changing. The stories that are self-sabotaging and doubting, replace them with the dreams you once had. And then, tell a different story. Create the story you want for your life. Overwrite your current story so it stops holding you back. You will never make it to anything in life? Change it and allow yourself to make it to the person you want to become. You'll never find the right partner? Change that old record and play a new tune. The right person is coming your way. You'll never make enough money? I know money will come when I least expect it. Tell a story that has potential instead of one with a dead end. Tell a story that has hope, inspiration, and that will allow you to see possibilities. And get rid of stories that make you miserable, bring you down, and that are based on unrealistic assumptions. Get up and create new stories. And choose the story you want, not the one that plays by default. And then, play the new story regularly. Commit to your new story. If you want something new and shinier every other day, then that's not your new story. Rather, really think about what you want out of life and why. And then rewrite the story. And then repeat it. Every day. Wake up to your new story. And before you go to sleep, review it. Do this daily. And the new story will ingrain itself into your brain. And slowly, the new stories will reshape your reality. They will help you see, think and feel things that are congruent with your new story. Just like before. You didn't have money. Because you had the story playing that you would never have money. You couldn't find the right partner because you had the story playing that you just cannot find one. Change your story and you change your reality. And stay strong because your brain will try to fight back with logic and tell you, no way, not possible. Stay strong and take charge. It is your story. One day your brain will be on board as well. Stories change realities. So make them good stories. Much love.